Master the art of muting, push to talk video calls explained. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an essential aspect of video call etiquette, the push to talk feature. This feature can help you maintain professionalism, minimize distractions, and enhance communication effectiveness during your video calls. The push to talk feature is a function that mutes your microphone until you decide to speak. You push a key to talk, hence the name. It's similar to using a walkie talkie. This feature is handy when there's background noise at your end or when you're not speaking for extended periods during a call. When should you use the push to talk feature? There are several scenarios. The most common is when you're in a noisy environment. This could be anything, from a bustling coffee shop to a home with loud pets or children. The feature ensures that the noise doesn't interrupt the call. Another scenario is during large meetings where multiple participants may speak at once, leading to communication chaos. By using push to talk, you ensure that only the person who wishes to speak is heard, thereby maintaining order and clarity. Most video call platforms, like Zoom or Microsoft Teams, have a push to talk feature. To set it up, you usually go to the settings or preferences section of the application and look for the audio settings. There you will find a checkbox or option to enable push to talk. Once enabled, the app will allow you to select a key on your keyboard that will activate your microphone when pressed. While push to talk is a valuable tool, it's essential to use it properly. Here are a few best practices. 1. Choose an easily accessible key. This ensures you can quickly unmute yourself when needed. 2. Remember to press the key when you speak. It can be easy to forget you're on mute, leading to moments of awkward silence. 3. Don't hold down the key unnecessarily. This could lead to unwanted background noise if you forget to release it. And that's it for today's video on push to talk during video calls. It's a small feature, but mastering it can significantly improve your online communication experience. Remember, the key to effective communication isn't just what you say, but how and when you say it. We hope this video has been helpful and enlightening. Stay tuned for more practical tips on mastering English language skills, and as always, happy learning.